Hey guys, so in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to jailbreak the 2.0.1 firmware. And um, right now I'm just doing a fresh restore to 2.0.1. Um, in this tutorial you need WinPone 2.0.0.4, the new version which CMW just released. And you also need the firmware 2.0.1 firmware, which is uh, in the video description. So uh, just download those and you'll be all sure you're on iTunes 7.7. .7. And uh, now, um, let's get started, because I know I don't want to waste any more of your time talking, so uh, let's go. Okay, so once we're on the computer, we're going to go and start the WinPwn installation. And if you need to download this file, the link's in the sidebar, just download it, and you'll get an installer like this. Um, I'm starting it up right now, so I'm just going to hit Next. I'm going to choose No Desktop Shortcuts and hit Next. Install. Okay, so it's done in installing, and um, we're just going to hit Finish here. Okay, so once that's done, you'll need to download the firmware 2.0.1, and I'm going to give you a link to that in the video description. Um, you'll go to a page like this, and um, so you basically you just want to select one of these, iPhone or iPod Touch, you can download them. Um, it's a pretty cool site. This is the 2.01 that I need for uh, my uh, iPod, and uh, it also includes the 3G ones and uh, 2G ones, so that's pretty cool. So I'm just going to hit download. I've already done it. Um, just for the sake of this tutorial, and uh, there it is. So, there's 2.0.1, and now we're going to go and open WinPwn. Okay, so once WinPwn is open, um, it look, pretty much looks the same as 2.0.0.3 and the ones before that, um, but it has support for 2.0.0.1, so um, that's the cool features. So we're going to go ahead and go to Browse IPSW, and we're going to find the firmware we just downloaded, the 2.0.1 firmware we just downloaded that's untouched and straight from Apple. Just hit open that. Okay, so now we're going to go to IPSW Builder, and I'm just going to check all three of these. I'm not going to choose any custom images because I don't want to mess with it now, and now that that's done, all you need to do is hit the build IPSW button. I'm just going to choose where to save it. I'm just going to save it on my desktop and hit save. And uh, let it build. So uh, you can keep track of what WinPone is doing through this, the logs. Um, right now it's preparing the IPSW build file. It should take around 5 to 10 minutes for this to happen, depending on the speed of your computer and how many gigahertz you have on your processor. And uh, I've already started the IPSW building. So. Uh, my computer is, uh, if you're asking, my computer is an Inspiron 8500 Dell. It's pretty old. It's from a 2002 model. And um, it's actually been pretty good to me. So, uh, yeah. So uh, I'm just going to be back. I'm just going to go uh, do something now while it's uh, building the IPSW. You don't want to waste any time. So um, I'll be back when it's done. Okay, so it's successfully finished building the IPSW. It's on my desktop. It should be called something like this, Custom iPod 2.0.1 Restore. Okay, so once it's done building the IPSW, we're going to need to uh, open WinPone again. We're just going to find the original untouched 2.0 firmware. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and hit iPoner, choose the firmware that we just made, the custom one, and hit open. And now you should see a message, it says your iTunes has been pwned, you can now restore using that custom firmware, so we can exit out of WinPwn now. Okay, so now we're going to open up iTunes. Okay, so iTunes has just detected my iPod, and um, I just restored it. 
as you've seen in the video so i'm just gonna hit setup as a new ipod make sure you hit setup as a new ipod continue i'm just gonna not sync anything right now now once you're here you should um go ahead and just cancel the sync if it's syncing and now we're gonna do a shift restore so just hold the shift key and hit restore shift restore and we're just going to choose the custom firmware that we just made using WinPone. Make sure it's the custom one or else you won't get installer and Cydia installed. And there you go. That's pretty much it. Now it will restore and um, hopefully you'll have a successful restore with uh, no error messages. If you do, then uh, just put your iPod into DFU mode and then you should be fine. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so it looks like the restore was a success. And now let's go and check out our brand new Jailbroken 2.0.2 .2 iPod. Okay, so it's finished restoring. There's it. And there is Cydia and Installer. And that concludes the tutorial on how to jailbreak 2.0.1. Thanks for watching. Um, if this video helped you, please subscribe. If um, you need help on this video or anything else, just go ahead and put it in the comments or send me a PM and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So uh, thanks for watching and... Uh, have a good one.